You know, I've been very fortunate in my musical career to play with some amazing drummers. Um, and I'm also lucky in that uh, drums was my first instrument. And I still have a set in my house that I kick around on when I have time. Um, but I can't stress to you enough the importance of being able to play rhythmic hits and percussive jabs just like a drummer might do. Because, you know, if you think about it in the jazz context for a drummer, they've got They've got their right hand doing ka ding dong ka dun 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 and the hi hat, usually the left foot, cha mm, cha mm, cha on two and four. One, two, three, four, mm, cha mm, cha ka ding ding ka ding ding ka ding ding ka ding, right? So on two and fours. But then with the kick drum and with the snare, they're accenting and doing a sort of oh, this is going ding ding ka ding ding and two and four ding ka ding ding ka ding ding. Uh 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 boom boom ba you know, so they're doing all these accents, uh, generally with the kick and with the snare, and that is something that we can we can approximate on the guitar, and uh, and it's a very very cool sound. So, for example, if I was playing, um, let's say that I was playing, uh, well, let's say I was playing a blues, uh, and uh, okay, we. <laughs> So we got a blues and C. Um, so uh, a drummer might do so. We're playing along. Does it see that? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, that's a hitch a drummer might do. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, it's like, uh, uh. So like maybe on the snares, uh, and on the kick, uh, uh, right? They just put those accents in. I can replicate those. So. What I want to do is I'm going to pull up a track, and I'm going to actually play along and play, you know, for the sake of example, I might play a little busier than I would play in some playing situations, but um, what makes this so special is that if you're playing in a guitar trio situation, if you start playing some really cool rhythmic ideas, the drummer's going to pick up on it, and it can make for some really explosive, fun, really great moments. Okay, so when I just played with that track, with that funky uh, track there, basically what I was doing is I was accenting in all different parts of the beat. So for instance, so one, two, three, four, eight, four, one, two, three, four, eight. Okay, or sometimes, Quarter note triplets are playing on the up part of the beat. But again, this is stuff that a drummer would do. So, you know, a great practice to do if you really want to start being able to comp like a drummer and pick up these kind of hip rhythmic uh, 
hits is when you go out and you hear music, when you're listening to a great recording, just focus on the drummer. I know it's really hard to do. It's hard to tune out the guitar player or the sax or bass. But if you just focus on the drummer and really dig into what the drummer is playing, that's a great mm. way. I mean, I try, I try to, when I, I, like I said, I have played with some of the best drummers in the world. I try to steal all their stuff all the time if i hear them doing this cool stuff like how can i take that i know this stuff is too intricate uh and complex for me to play on the drums but it's not too intricate sometimes for me to try to find a way to adapt it and play it on the guitar and so you got to get loose with your right hand you know for funk stuff i recommend you work on 16th note things see there Keep the sixteenths going. One iena, two iena, three iena, four iena. You know, so if you just keep that going, you can then choose to if you that's going all the time, you can choose to accent different parts of the sixteenth notes. And again, we take it at a turtle clip, something like Okay, so that's a really good way to practice this. And notice, basically, I'm just using one chord there, just using an E7 sharp nine there. <laughs> 